For today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Solve for the values of a and b given this equation a plus b equals 3 and 6 raised to the power of a plus 6 raised to the power of b equals 42. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given these two equations, a, b equals 3, and 6 raised to the power of a plus 6 raised to the power of b equals 42, our goal is to solve for the values of a and b that satisfies this equation. Alright, so to answer this question, let's get the first equation, a plus b equals 3. Now, what we're going to do is to get the value of b in terms of a. So to do that, let's subtract a on both sides. And if we do that, we get b equals 3 minus a. Now let's set aside this result. And now let's get the second equation. 6 raised to the power of a plus 6 raised to the power of b equals 42. Now we know b equals 3 minus a. So we can replace this b with 3 minus a. So we have 6 raised to a plus 6 raised to the power of 3 minus a equals 42. Now at this point, let's use some laws of exponent. If we have x raised to the power of x minus z, this must be equal to x raised to the power of y over x raised to the power of z. So 6 raised to the power of 3 minus a, this can be written as 6 raised to the power of 3 over 6 raised to the power of a. Now, we see two similar terms right over here. We have 6 raised to the power of a. So why not? Let's replace this with another variable and let's call this as n. So we can replace all 6 raised to the power of a with the variable n like this. Now, let's multiply all of this term with the variable n to cancel out the denominator n. If we do that, we get n squared plus 6 raised to the power of 3 equals 42 times n. Now let's equate this to 0 because this is a quadratic equation. So I have n squared minus 42n plus 6 cubed or we have 216 right over here. This is easy to factor because 6 cubed is just 36 times 6 or simply 6 squared times 6 and this 42 we can see negative 36 minus 6. So, we can factor this as follows. We have n minus 36 multiplied by n minus 6. And if we multiply this, we get this equation right over here. So now, let's use this factored form. Since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we have n minus 36 equals 0 or n minus 6 equals 0. Now let's solve for the value of n. For the first equation, let's add 36 on both sides. And on the second equation, let's add 6 on both sides. And if we do that, we get n equals 36 or n equals 6. But take note, this n, this n right over here must be equal to 6 raised to the power of a. So we can replace n with 6 raised to the power of a like this. And also take note that this 36 can be written as 6 squared. And this 6 right over here can be written as 6 raised to the power of 1. So on the first equation, we can say that a equals 2. And on the second equation, we can say that a equals 1. So we found a equals 2 and or a equals 1. But our goal is to find the value of a and b. And take note that b must be equal to 3 minus a. So, if a is 2, 3 minus 2, b must be equal to 1. And if a is 1, 3 minus 1, b must be equal to 2. And that is our answer to this question. So, given these two equations, a plus b equals 3, and 6 raised to the power of a plus 6 raised to the power of b equals 42, then the values of a and b must be, if a is 2, b must be equal to 1, or 
if A is 1, then B must be equal to 2. And as always, we are done.